transfer, empty balls, iron brew, take them back to the shops, get myself a wee bit of extra pocket money, right? And one day, I chapped on a door that I hadn't chapped on before. A few seconds later, the door opened. I looked up, and stone in there was, stone in there was a woman. And I asked her, have you got any ginger balls? She said, aye, hold on. She went away, brought back a poly bag and gave us it and shut the door in my face. On my way down to the shop, I looked in the bag to check to see how many balls she gave us. Opened it up, appeared inside. But there, in the bag, I saw...
years ago, me, me big brother, a few others, you know, all my mates, we were messing about around the bonfire, throwing bangers and things like that about at each other, just messing about. And I just kicked called Charlie. And he had all his bangers sticking out his pocket, loose in his pocket. And my brother set him alight. And they all blew off and just kicked back pocket. And I was messing about with some sparklers, you know, writing my name in the air. And the next step, my, uh, my hair was, was alight. Right, and all these trousers stuck to his skin. And he had to go to the hospital. And my brother and that was just showing off who he was, really. And all my friends thought it was very funny. It, it is a laugh. Sometimes. If you see your mate coming down, you get that money there. Just like a bang, and he doesn't know it's coming towards him, he goes off at his feet. It's a laugh, and he's a man, and he's laughing, really. What's funny about that? I don't know. Do you think your brother would have done it if he'd have been on his own with Charlie? Not my brother, not, not really. Why not? Why wouldn't you have done it? Because there aren't, you know, a lot of people to turn like this. Oh, my God.
Thank you.